Hi everyone, welcome to the Callcom podcast. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mia. So Callcom is a language exchange cafe with over 16 branches throughout South Korea. They focus not just on language exchanging between uh, Koreans and foreigners, but also a cultural exchange. So food, uh, experiences, mm-hmm. and, and etc. Nice. Yeah. So all, as well as Callcom, they also have the discussion topics. Um, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about the common things that might be talk, uh, discussed mm. at Kong Kong. Nice. Are you ready? Yeah, super okay. ready. Let's okay. do this. So today's subject is about friends, okay? Okay. I have friends. You have friends? I do have friends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like when you move to a different country, it can be sometimes hard to yeah. keep friendships or make right. friends. But yeah. Uh, luckily, yeah, I've been able to make some nice friends here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have like a, a diverse uh, lineup of friends, not just nice. uh, Koreans, but also from different countries mm, yeah. in South Korea. Awesome. Okay. So uh, the first question we have today mm-hmm. is, do you have any childhood friendships that are still strong until today? and describe them? Mm. For me, it's been hard to keep childhood friends, I think, throughout the years, just because you kind of change schools, people move, you Mm -hmm. know, abroad for Mm -hmm. university and whatnot. So the only friendship I've got still from, like, three years old is uh, a family friend. So, right. Yeah. yeah, we've been friends now to this day. Yeah, so over 20 years. <laughs> Whoa, let's see. Uh, childhood friends, for me, I kind of, like, just growing up in the neighborhood, you just, mm. you naturally, like, played along with uh, all the people around you. But then, you know, yeah. as I went through puberty, mm. we, me and my friends went different ways. They had different hobbies. Sure. Maybe they got they got interested in girls. <laughs> and right. so girls will always separate boys. Uh. <laughs> um, but I still have like uh, three like high school friendships. That oh, are nice. Still good. Mm. Yeah, like I was kind of like the outcast in school, but I found like three friends and Every time I go home, I actually try to meet up with them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Have awesome. you had actually friends that come here? Uh, I have, not from my childhood, from college. Uh, from college? From university, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's been nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, well, it's, uh, I'm from Toronto. And, I'm from Australia. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's, it's a bit of an airplane trip to come here. Yeah, for you, I think. For yeah, us, it's like 10 hours. 14 hours. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, so question two we have is um, who was your first international friend? Um, and do you still keep in touch with them? How often do you see them, meet them? Mm. For me, my first international friend. So, like in Canada, there are a lot of people like might say, like, oh, I'm Italian or mm. I'm, you know, I'm German, I'm Polish, I'm Africa, from Africa. Sure. But that's actually from the grandmothers. They're, they're a couple generations deep in the Canadian. I, actually, I would say my first international friend was actually my my Korean girlfriend that I came here. Oh, to okay. With. Yeah. When did you meet her? Um, I met her when I was actually just finished college. Oh, okay. uh, she was going to university and uh, she was actually working in the convenience store below my apartment. Oh, wow. <laughs> Such a cool it's kind of love story. Yeah. yeah love story. Meet cute. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I think for me, kind of same thing. Like mm-hmm. you've got people at school, in high school, that's, um, you know, their family are from a different country, yeah. but they themselves were born and raised in Australia. Yeah. So I think my first international friend was also in uh, in university when I moved to America. Yeah. And I had other friends that were from, I think, from Sweden, from mm-hmm. Norway, different European countries. Um, so they were my first real international friends who were born and raised in a country outside Australia. Sure. sure. Yeah. Now here's a quick, um, so like I consider like international just outside of North America. So sure. I do have, I do have like American friends, but I wouldn't say, consider them international. That's fair. Would you consider like someone from New Zealand international? Uh, that's a good question. I haven't thought of that. I guess I kind of would because yeah it's similar but there's still quite a few cultural differences i'd say between australia and new zealand maybe mm. the same with canada is there yeah. or maybe it's more similar culturally? Uh, cult- well america is just a mix of pot of everything that's right? true but, so it's one one state's different than the other and mm. free, yeah even like one pro- one state in australia is different than the other true that's true yeah yeah mm, interesting yeah uh, okay. Uh, question number three is: How would you solve the problem that your friend borrowed your money but doesn't pay you back? Oh, oh, 
hate when that happens. <laughs> uh, I'm usually bad at confrontation. So I mm. feel like if that happens, I'm often like hesitant to like kind of bring it up or approach them with that. Cause I'm like mm -hmm. kind of, Oh, I don't want it to become an argument, but mm. it is something important. So I usually try and say it in the nicest way. Like, Oh, Hey, the money you borrowed. Yeah. Is that going to come anytime soon? <laughs> anytime. Yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Like they always say like, like borrowing money between is always the thing that ruins a friendship. Can be. Yeah. Uh, like I would say, I, in the past, I would be like passive aggressive, kind of like when we go out, I'm like, going, okay, you got dinner because, you ah, know. Ah, that's kind of smart though. That's and a good way. It, and now in Korea too, I'll just actually in my cow cow talk, I'll just post it like a little notice, like going, oh, yeah. So it's kind of like just not, I'm not, yeah, I avoid confrontations too. But, yeah. You know, but I'll just like put these little nudges. That's true. That's a good thing with like, yeah, here there's that, you know, yeah, request money on cacao, yeah, which yeah. is a, a good way to to subtly yeah. make sure they send it. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. well, you and I, too, also work in the, the entertainment. It's always hard to, to get people to send us money. They always promise it. And yeah, that's true. But so far, it's been okay, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Next question is, uh, what is your unforgettable epic moments that you spend with your friends? Hmm. Uh, what do I... So, actually, like, my friends... When I've met a lot of my friends, it's mm -hmm. kind of like serendipitous. Ah, oh, sure. So like, actually, like we like we kind of like start off actually like not liking each other. Uh huh. And like <laughs> we like like when I'm like on who's this prick, and I'm like on, and then he tells me the same thing. He had thought the same thing, but oh then yeah, we realize actually we're more like similar. Mm. So you'd say like the actual friendships were the epic. Yeah, sort of. yeah. That's awesome. I like that. Oh, I feel like the. Ep like epic quote unquote yeah. epic moments are usually kind of like you've mentioned like the unexpected sort of sort of in the moment just happens yeah. and then ends up being like one of the most memorable things mm -hmm. i'd say yeah um so yeah things that usually aren't planned ahead end up being yeah the most memorable. or like when you could even do like something like go traveling mm -hmm. or with your friends that's always a good thing that's true yeah and i feel like korea especially is a great place for that because there's like japan there's mm -hmm. I mean, Thailand, there's so mm -hmm. many countries that are within a couple hour flights, yeah. not too expensive. So for like Australia, for example, like for us going anywhere is expensive as hell because mm -hmm. it's so far from everywhere. But mm -hmm. I feel like here it's good to, to mm -hmm. do little vacations mm -hmm. with friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, I always tell people like even road trips, not just flying somewhere, True. but road trips. Yeah. Like the, the journey is part of the, part of the vacation or the thing that you could do with your friends. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, where are we now? Okay, five. Uh, number five. Uh, uh, what do you do? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> what you did with your friends last time you met them? What did you do with your friends last time you met them? Mm. I met a friend on Friday night, which was like, two nights ago, uh, and we went to Songsu yeah. here, which is like a area for people that don't know Korea well. It's a sort of fun, like young-ish kind of going out place yeah. especially on friday saturday nights um there's cute little bars cute little restaurants so we went and got uh chicken and beer a typical mm -hmm. korean you know uh friday night food with friends and then we went to get some wine at a nice little wine bar so yeah. that's the last thing i did uh well uh, i meet with my friends a lot of my friends are now getting married so they have uh, not a lot but they always busy. want to meet me uh -huh. um so i met my buddy mark actually on thursday afternoon we mm -hmm. went to uh we went to Latte World, just like oh. the lake there. And we just walked around just oh, doing, nice. catching up and talking about talking about what we've been doing and mm. like what, what our hopes are for like, you know, just guy stuff, <laughs> bonding. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, it's like for him, because he just lives a married life. He, yeah. he only has his wife really to talk to. But yeah, he needed just to blow off some steam and to have a conversation. Sure. Without be important. You know, the wife nagging him. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. All righty. So, have you ever made any friends over the internet? This is question six, by the way. Um, and have you ever met them in person? Hmm. I, w I think that's kind of shady. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, like, I, uh, well, like, there's the term like catfishing, right? Oh, uh, sure, sure, like, sure. So it's oh, and always a, like sometimes when I've tried to reach out, mm -hmm. really the person's just does it. We lose track and like 
the first time you do it, like you're talking like uh, like constantly, maybe twice a day, but then it yeah. goes once and then it becomes fizzles. bi daily and then yeah, so mm. it just fizzles out. Mm. That makes sense. Um, I have met one of my closest friends actually on like a language exchange app. This was like seven years ago. Yeah. So um, she's Korean and I'm obviously like native English speaker. So we wanted to exchange those languages. And uh, we have still stayed really close friends to this day. It's been like seven years now. So that's wow. been my one most uh, memorable and only um, successful like friend I've met over the internet. And yeah. uh, that's, you know, stayed my friend till today. Have you actually used like Tinder for meeting people? I have. Yeah. I have very strong opinions about like <laughs> Tinder, especially. Yeah. <laughs> tends to not have the best kind of people on there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like in this day and age, dating apps is kind of the way to go to meet yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I either I, it, just like the it, meeting people over the internet. Mm -hmm. You know, it's either well, on Tinder. It's either a, a horrible fail or <laughs> just fizzles out very quickly. Yeah. I've, I've heard some success stories, you know, yeah. people say, oh, I got married to my Tinder, you know, match, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I feel like there is some success, but it's, uh, it's, it's rare. It's, it's well, yeah, yeah. I've, I meet those people too. I'm like, oh, how'd you meet? Uh, Tinder. Actually. Yeah. It's usually like, a, oh, Tinder. Yeah, it's, it's taboo. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, this is number seven. Mm -hmm. uh, how are your friendships different now than uh, they were when you were a child? Oh, I guess in the obvious kind of ways, like when you're a kid, it's usually very, uh, you know, I don't know, usually bond because you want to hang out and play games or, yeah. you know, kind of do kid stuff together. Mm -hmm. But now it's more like you bond over like life experience or mm -hmm. goals or kind mm -hmm. of similar interests. Whereas mm -hmm. as a kid, you can kind of make friends with yeah. anybody, really. Right. So I think you're a bit more, at least I feel I'm a bit more sort of selective now than mm -hmm. I was as a kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How about you? Uh, I mean, going back to what I said in the first question, like my childhood, like, yeah, just you just make friends in the neighborhood. If, yeah. And basically just people wanted to do a common thing, like play sports together. Right. You need to you just become friends with anyone. Exactly. So you can make a team very quickly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like you said, too, it's just now uh, the friendships I make is, yeah, common uh, experiences or mm -hmm. views and situations. Yeah. Right. As well. Yeah. Um, this is something strange. So when like when I first came to Korea too, mm -hmm. like uh, they told me, you know, chingu is only people you're the same age as you. Ah, oh, yeah. And I, I call <laughs> I call bullshit on that <laughs> because yeah. I have I have friends that are older and younger than me. Yeah. But then, but recently now, like I've some of the people I've met that are actually the same birth year as me. Mm. We have a quicker bond. Like we oh. become friends much easier oh interesting and yeah. it's not just koreans but also like my 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 good friend mark which i said like yeah. we just we just kind of bond naturally because we're both from uh born in the same year 81 oh, oh nice so we have we grew up have listening to the same music that helps, we watch yeah. the same movies and all that stuff yeah oh, that's interesting mm -hmm. Like yeah, it's I a very. A, I made a stupid reference from uh, Demolition Man, and he. Oh yeah. And he got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. I guess that does help being yeah. born with uh, you know, oh, being born in the same age as your friends. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. Okay. Question eight. Uh, how do you maintain a good friendship? Ooh. Ooh. That's hard. Um, yeah. Tough one. Well, it's uh, well. No, not borrowing money or lending money. <laughs> uh, nice callback to, yep. <laughs> uh, you know, you have to stay in communication with them. See, yep. like, make sure that they're doing all right. Just, yep. you know, you reaching out to them and mm. seeing how they're, how they're doing, how they're feeling. Mm. It, it keeps those bonds alive. True. Yeah, I think that's very important, like, realizing that it is a two-way street. You can't just have one person make all the mm -hmm. plans, reach out all the time. Like, right. if you realize that, you are the one doing that maybe mm -hmm. it's not the best friendship maybe let yeah. that go but yeah it's definitely uh a two-way street so yeah. it's important yeah mm. yeah it doesn't you don't have, it could just even be a call or even yep. just a message like hey you doing all right I haven't talked to you in a while exactly yeah and then but also like on hey you know we haven't i haven't seen you in a while let's mm. just hang out yeah and usually that's also that's like the subtext like i got shit to talk about <laughs> right <laughs> yeah exactly yeah usually the case you, you fake interest but really you you just wanted to unload just have a been free therapist <laughs> yeah okay. uh this is number nine what is your definition of a best friend oh that's tricky 
Um, I don't know if I've got an exact definition. It's more just like, you know, kind of, if you feel like they're a close friend, then I'd say they're like a best friend. Mm -hmm. But then again, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there's kind of a criteria per se for me. Yeah. Uh, well, like through my life, like I've had best friends come and go. Yeah, my, exactly. My, my sister's had her best friend since she was in third grade. Oh, wow. And they, they still like hang out like, and I don't like, wow. Yeah. That's and like, cool. yeah, like even like, uh, her best friends, her daughter's godmother, mm. and my, my auntie Jenny and all, but, <laughs> she, uh, it's kind of, yeah it's well for me it was just hard to keep a best friend yeah and also we live this transit life too exactly so. that's why yeah I feel like you meet suddenly like someone you know where like I when I came to Korea like I ended up meeting like a friend that was mm -hmm. a best friend I'd say mm -hmm. she's left now so you know who knows who I'm going to meet next that's going to be a new best friend you know and it's like yeah it's also hard I guess like uh, as adults to keep best friends because usually mm. when someone gets married, their spouse becomes their best friend. That's true. You'd hope. Yeah. Ah, yeah. like, oh, she's not my wife. She's my best friend. Exactly. Or, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So I guess, yeah, your best friend is just the person you want to spend, just hang out with. Just, yeah. You feel uh, closest with. You can share yeah. kind of everything with them, I share, feel like. That's yeah. important. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to do anything special. You mm. just live in the moment with them. Yeah, exactly. Just occupy explore. a space. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Alrighty. And our 10th question is, do you think there is a friendship between girls and guys? Oof. I feel like this mm. is the biggest debated topic question. <laughs> well, I can go on for a while, but um, yeah, I know there's so many sides to this. <laughs> like I, I do have uh, good friends on both in both genders. Right? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Like I have, well, I have also like my female friend that lives uh, in my area, Jamie, mm -hmm. and she's like an older sister to me. And yep. so it's possible. Yeah. But, you know, uh, but also, like, I think there's something to, like, when guys are, when guys are friends with other guys, mm -hmm. um, the, like, the friendship is much different than when girls are friends with girls. Sure. Definitely. I think there's, like, just differences and, you know, kind of topics of interest and things like that. Of course, there can be, like, overlapping, but mm -hmm. I feel like fundamentally, yeah, we, we do kind of bond in different ways mm -hmm. with friends, yeah. guys and girls. But... I think it I think it's possible. I've yeah. got like a best friend that's a guy. We've been friends for like nearly 6 years now, so mm -hmm. you know, um I think it's possible. Wait, uh, were you like a tomboy when you were kid? like a good friend <laughs> like when all my friends are guys? Uh actually no. I've been to an all girls school my whole life, okay. so I physically couldn't make friends with guys in school cuz there were none. <laughs> so okay. for me, I've literally only had female friends. My guy friend um is the only guy friend I've had in my life. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, yeah it's, it's, it's very complicated too, because it's yeah. like um, for guys also, it's like, a, like it's difficult, I guess, to gain the trust mm. of, of girls, because yeah. also guys are kind of pervy and, oh, and they yeah. just like, they want to get to know the girl because they might have an attraction. That's and the, then yep. there's also the friend zone. They're trying to avoid the friend zone. Right, yep. <laughs> As long as there's the mutual kind of like, you know, yeah. we're both not interested in each other yeah. there, then I feel like it can, uh, it can work. <laughs> it take, I would say it takes guys a little bit longer to, uh, to befriend girls. Cause, sure. Uh, because we just, we just think objectify, we objectify it too yeah. quickly. Yeah. Unfortunately. But. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's uh, our podcast for the first one. Uh, the topic was friendship. Um, yep. You could uh, go Go to colcom.com to find more about our locations and where you can meet people. Oh, sorry. It's colcom.co.kr. Okay. <laughs> and thank you once again for tuning in to the Colcom podcast. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mia. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye. -bye. Bye.